Hornady's continued efforts to improve our Hornady Ballistics Calculator has now included a new feature. Many shooters might be excited to implement this feature. It's called the Moving Target. This feature allows you to calculate both the speed of the target and the correction to impact that target. Let's walk through how to utilize this new feature. This feature is included in both the Ford Off and BC side of the app. I'm going to use the Ford Off for this example. Select your profile that you'd like to know the correction for the moving target. Up in the top right, you'll notice that there's a new box up there that says moving target. We'll select that. At the top, you'll have an enable button that turns the app feature on and off, a target speed, and a target angle. We're going to toggle the feature on. And we're going to select target speed. This page is used to calculate how fast the target is moving. To calculate the speed of the moving target, you'll need to know the distance traveled and the time that it takes to travel that distance. To do that, we're going to use the reticle in our rifle scope or spotter scope and input a distance that we will start and stop the timer. In ex this example, I'm going to use four MRADs. To ensure that I'm using the correct measurement, I'm going to select the distance traveled units and select MRAD to match the reticle within my scope. To reference the start and stop time, I'm going to use the center of my reticle and the 4 mil mark on the windage side. So I'm going to input 4 MRADs for distance traveled. Now I need the distance that the target is at. This target is at 606 yards. I will input 606 yards into the target distance. Now that I have the distance traveled and the target distance, I will use the timer function to start and stop the target. Let's take a look at our example now. I'm going to start the timer when the target crosses the center of the reticle and stop it when it crosses the 4 mil mark. So start, stop. I've gotten 3.13 miles per hour. Your ability to get an accurate target speed is going to be based upon the accuracy of your inputs. To improve the accuracy of the inputs, you can use a longer distance traveled or do this several times and take the average of the target speed. Now that we've calculated our target speed, we can select Save at the top right corner. And you'll see that it updated this page to say 3.1 miles per hour. Our toggle is on, so that means it will move over to the HUD. We'll hit Save once again. Now in the HUD, you'll notice a new column in the bottom right hand corner next to windage, it will give you a solution to impact that moving target. This does not include the wind component, so you'll have to add or subtract to accommodate that. In this example, the solution to impact the target was 1.99 MRADs. For me to hit the target, I will break the shot approximately 2 mils ahead of the center of the target. When I'm engaging a moving target, I like to use the ambush method. To do that, I'll put the reticle in a fixed position and wait for the target to cross my point and fire. Follow along in our example and I'll tell you when I would fire. I would fire right now. And then I could wait for the target to come back the other way and engage it again. Firing right now. We just used the stopwatch to calculate the moving target speed. Now we can show you an alternate method where you can use a fixed amount of time and see how far the target travels in that time. For this example, I'm going to use two seconds. So I'm going to select the seconds and input two. For this method, I'm going to verbally say one 1,000, two 1,000 and start that when the target crosses the center of the crosshair and measure how far the target went when I'm done saying that. Follow along. 1 1,000, 2 1,000. The target crossed approximately 4.7 mils in that time. So I will input 4.7 MRADs into the distance traveled. You'll see I got 2.9 miles per hour. Again, the accuracy of this solution is going to depend upon the accuracy of your inputs and measurements. With this method, I got 2.9 miles per hour. We'll save that and go back to the HUD. As you can see, the correction is now 1.86. Last time, it was 1.99. The discrepancy is because of my ability to accurately measure the distance traveled.
Using both methods would result in a lead solution that would impact the target. In the last example, we used a target that was moving perpendicular to our location. The app can also give you a target lead if the target is moving at an angle that is not perpendicular to your location. If I approximate that the target is moving at a 30 degree angle from my location, I can use the wheel to input 30 degrees, or I can manually type in 30 degrees in target direction. Now that I have updated the target angle, I can hit save, and you'll notice that the lead has changed. That lead angle is only for the horizontal lead. Because the target is now moving at an angle that's not perpendicular, the distance of the target will change as well. You'll need to compensate whether that target is moving farther or closer to you with elevation. The moving target calculator can also be utilized within the range card feature. Now that we went over the new moving target calculator, I hope everyone gets out there and gets more impacts on target.